Teotronics new 120 watt LED fixtures. They're fully programmable and dimmable and are set up to replicate nature with a full sunrise, sunset, and lunar light. They're, uh, the model numbers the TTAL12 and just type that in Amazon and you can order them off Amazon. They're 120 watt each with 55 3 watt LEDs and they have 26 white 10,000 to 12,000 K white LEDs and they got 26 royal blue which is around 460 nanometers and then they have three lunar lights at 450 nanometers and they're rated for about around 50,000 hours so they'll last uh, a while and they have 90 degree optics to shine the light down into the aquarium so the light doesn't spill out over the tank onto the wall that's one thing I didn't like about the old 120 watt LED fixtures is the light would be full like 180 and it would spill out onto the back of the tank they come with everything that you need their uh, hardware that comes with it is even better than the, the last ones they have threaded uh, bolts that are actually into the fixture itself and the hardware just screws right onto the fixture Then it has a little T fitting right here. Split it off. And then it just has a quick connect to hang the cables from the ceiling. So that'd be pretty easy to hang the lights. And these units only have one power cord each for power. So you only have to run one cord. And to show you, their new power cords have a, a right angle on them. So it keeps the power cords down so they're not sticking up and they look a lot better. And their new fans on these fixtures are a lot quieter than any of their previous models. You can barely hear them and since the unit's on 24-7 the fans only turn on for when they're needed like during the day because at night it doesn't get hot enough to where the fans need to turn on so they only run for about eight hours a day and it comes with a remote control so you can control the sunny cloudy the moonlight and you can also control it to make it a uh, custom whatever you want it comes preset for a sunrise and sunset effect and then a lunar light to replicate nature but then you can also fully program it yourself for whatever you want in the mornings and in the evenings I like just the blue lights on so I have it set up to where the blue lights turn on separately in the mornings and the evenings and then the whites come on gradually throughout the day and then at night I have about two percent of the blue lunar lights on at midnight I'll show you the screen here to show you how you can set it up and program it yourself I don't know if you can see it so you have just a touch screen here with the different menus and I, I since I set mine up custom you just go into the custom menu let me see if I can get the camera down lower. Screen's not really showing up. But in the custom menu, you have now you can see it, sorta of. but you can have, you can set up every hour or every half hour 
and then you select what time of day and then what percentage of blue either blue or white LED you want on and then you just go down to hit you can either preview it and, and or save it so I'll, I'll hit the preview button and show you what I have my light set up as throughout the day so you just hit the preview button so this is at midnight So at midnight, there's just 3% blue for lunar light. And then at 2 o'clock, I've turned it down to 1%. And then by 4, it starts to get brighter in the morning. And 5, it gets up to 10% for the lunar lights. And then by 7, just the blue lights turn on. And you can hear the fans just kicked on, and you can barely hear them, they're real quiet. And by 9 o'clock, I have them at 70%, and then 30% whites. And then at 11, I got them at 70, 50. I like more blue, so I have the blues higher than the whites. And then at 12, at midday, I have it at 80, 60. For now, I'm just going to keep it at 80, 60, just to see how my corals do. And I might have to turn them up to 100% power by after the corals get adjusted. But for now, I'm just going to keep it at 80, 60. And then in the evening, you can see it start to ramp down. I'm at 50% on the blues and then 20% on the whites. And then by 7 o'clock, I just have all blues again. And then by 10 o'clock, I only have 10% of the blues on. And then 11 o'clock, just the lunar lights come on. And then at midnight, just a little bit of the blues for the lunar light. So that's how I have it set up now. And then another cool thing is you can replicate in nature. Because some, some days in nature, you have a cloudy day. So you can just hit the cloudy button. And that you can have it preset to whatever you want for cloudy. So right now, since I have the uh, lights on at 80, 60, for the cloudy button, I have it at 50, 40, just to make it look like it's cloudy out. So then the corals aren't getting full light every single day. So I'm going to get these installed. I'll show you the optics on them. Each LED has its own optic, and they're pretty darn bright. And now, since all the light goes into the tank, it got it has really good coverage to cover the entire aquarium. So I'll get these installed in my tank and show you my tank after it's set up. And then I also got a a new camera where I can do time lapse. So I'm going to do a 24-hour time lapse of the lights to show you how they replicate sunrise and sunset and then the lunar lights. So stay tuned. This was just a quick video that I did when I first got the lights. But I'll make a new video to show the lights more in depth and to actually show them on my tank. So stay tuned and watch for my second video when you can actually see the lights and uh, on my tank and I'm gonna make a little about a minute time lapse of a 24 hours period of my aquarium to show how the lights dim and how the lunar lights look on the tank so stay tuned for my next video